Campus by James E. Gunn. So this is episode 34 of a series I'm doing called The Masterpieces of Science Fiction. And this book was copyright 1977. It's the first book I've read by James Gunn. And there is another book on the list that I will be reading in the future called The Listeners. Now this book is very low rated on Goodreads. I think it's a 3.2, something like that. I didn't have high hopes for it. I didn't really know what to expect, but it really blew me away. I feel like this is another hidden gem in a way. One for James Gunn's writing in general is just amazing. And then everything that happened in this book, every time I thought I knew what was going on or what he was going to do with the book, each chapter kind of reinvented itself. And this book went places I had no idea or expected it to go. And that's one of the main reasons I thought this book was so great. So in the preface, James Gunn talks about being a student and then later um, a, a professor at the University of Kansas. And he was there during the 60s and 70s when there was a lot of political and civil unrest. There was the Vietnam protests going on. There was free speech issues. And this book is kind of a thought experiment of if that kind of continued. At the end of the preface, he says, everything simmered down after the Vietnam War ended. And he realizes this isn't, you know, the way society is going. But that gave him the idea of this book. So the th this is kind of a near future of 1977. And in this near future, it's kind of a dystopian in a way, but there are some aspects of society that are probably better than we have. So there's, you know, mostly dystopian, but there's some utopian aspects going on in here too, but mostly dystopian. And what society has kind of done is they've taken college campuses and walled them off and most of the population goes there between the ages of like 18 and 30. And these college campuses are mostly ran by the students, but you also have this, the professors and the faculty that kind of have a thing going there too, some influence. And you have these campus cops that kind of enforce certain rules. But inside the walls of these campuses, it's very anarch. It's mostly just anarchy. There's sex and drugs and all of these things going on. It's a very adult book. There is some scenes with some sexual content and some violence that are a bit graphic, but it's just a few scenes. The whole, the whole book isn't kind of like dwelling on that. One cool thing before I forget, James Gunn did predict online education. One of the instructors talks about how any class can be taken at home on your computer. The only ones you need to go in for are the lab classes, so I thought that was really cool. But if you, if I get, if I convince you to read this book and you start reading chapter one, you're going to be thinking, "What, what am I, what am I doing here?" Because the first chapter is very weird, and it's the only chapter that's like this. The rest of the book goes in completely different ways. That's why I was saying every chapter kind of reinvents the book in my mind. But the first chapter, I'll warn you, our main character, Tom Gavin, he feels like he was um, slipped some psychedelic drugs. So it's kind of hard to read. There's a lot of made up um, words. You're not sure what he's seeing is real or not. And the first chapter takes place on one of these inside of one of these campuses when this thing called Carnival is happening. And this is just this big party with free love and drugs and everything you could imagine going on. But it's also a time where these professors are pitching their classes and their curriculum to the students. So that's how these professors make their money. They need to get students to join their classes and then they'll get the tuition fees. And so they're out there like hustling and you've got, it's pretty funny. You got some chemistry teachers or professors, they're, they're trying to tell the students, hey, if you take my classes, I'll teach you how to make your own drugs, and this class will pay for itself. And you got philosophy instructors with their 
pitch and it, you know it's all over the place so it's a very wild first chapter but after you get past that the book goes in many different directions I kind of had the impression that the mo most of this book would take place within the walls of these college campuses and I'm you know I'm gonna leave this book or this review very spoiler free but let's just say this book goes all over the place and I had no idea where it was going to go from one chapter to the next. I don't really want to talk too much about the plot because it would give too much away. I'll say that there's some conspiracies going on. There's some issues with the faculty. Um, you know, this book touches on some ideas of AI You've got this anarchy theme through the whole thing. There's this quote that's used a bunch in this book. It's like, well, we'll just start the revolution and then we'll, we'll figure out what, what, why we started it later. So it's, it's pretty cool. There's, there's some, a little satire. There's some humor. Um, it's just a really good book all around. It was just over 300 pages. Each, each chapter was so unique and new that I never felt bogged down at all. I breezed through this book. I actually finished this book on January 1st. I've been kind of sitting on this book for a little while longer than I normally do. Normally I read a book and I try to do a review before I start my next book so everything's fresh in my head. So things are a little old. I, I had some highlights or some notes that I took that I refreshed my memory on, but I really just want to try to encourage people to read this. I think it's a hidden gem. I went on later and looked at some Goodreads reviews, and there's a lot of people that are on my camp where they're like, why is this a 3.2? This book was amazing. It, it went through all kinds of philosophical and political ideas, and it's there's a lot of ideas packed into this book. So I'm going to leave it there. Um... I just, I think you should read it. I think this is a good one. Like I said, there's some kind of graphic scenes in there, but if you can get past that, I think you're going to love this book. Um, James Gunn, he, I think he taught English and he all, at the University of Campus, Kansas, and he also um, started some sort of like science fiction program there. So guy's great. I'm going to be on the lookout for more of his books in the future because I thought this was great. So that's it for that one. I started off the year with a bang, really liked that book. And um, like I said, I finished it on the first and it's been giving me some time to try to catch up with this beast. This is what I'm reading right now, A Deepness in the Sky by Werner Vinge. I'm almost halfway through. Um, so look for a video review of that one coming up in the future. And then there's some other booktubers and maybe some viewers who we might... Um, try to get, I'm trying to finish Deepness of the Sky so I can get on to this one, Ch The Children of the Sky. So if, if anyone has any interest in, you know, reading that and hearing everyone's thoughts in the future, that's probably going to be like a February read. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.